Life's a math book, pages full of problems. Lost in the arithmetic, stress begats lunatics. Pressed brick walls, often up against. Bomb in the bushes all day, selling evidence. Two rifles, two pistols, like elephant. Forgetting who you are, no all timers medicine. Scooping Clyde up, picking up her medicine. Hate to see yourself for. I'm recording right now. My name is Kuwaga by New Kiganja Kimbuta. Right now, I want to show you Kimbuta mathematics, the first and the last real mathematics. Um, first, I want to show you the um, the relationship what I call between the um, Kimbuta formula or Kimbuta fabric and its relationship to the um, five ether ten point circle. The five ether ten point circle, we're going to call that the compass. And how we build it, how we put it together is draw a circle, draw a line here, draw a line on the sides right there, sides, sides. That's all you need. We start from zero and we count all the way around to nine. So you got zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we got nine there. The other side that we need in order for us to do the J cal calibration or calculation, stability cal calculation, <coughs> is the Kimberta um, formula and its anatomy. You got one side, which is the positive side, equal the negative side. What regulates them is the synergy in the middle. And the synergy represents unity and exchange of opposites. It regulates them. It's the flux between them. Just like you got north and you got south, we regulate them internally, or the flux lines of the magnetic field is the east and the west, and which people don't really want to talk about. You know? Too much, too tough. All right. Um, so the anatomy of that, in specific terms, when we're doing um, jet calibration, we're working with polar Kimbuta formulas. Polar Kimbuta formulas means that the number that we're working with has one sign that represents one direction or polarity or side, and the other one represents the opposite vector polarity or direction. And in between them, when they when they opposite like that. The difference between them is actually the sum of them. So we got um, two on the top, negative two on the top, and positive two on the bottom. That's our Kimber top formula. So if you want to do, let me show you a little power of this formula. If you want to do like two times six, for instance, you take the two, the two, whatever, whatever, whatever is multiplied by six is the synergy. And the synergy is the two. Half of two, any side, any synergy, its side is always half. And the thing is, since um, six is connected to one on the circle, all we're doing is adding the one with the two, which is 12. Now, I mean, first I want to go. Before I get a little bit deeper into this, I want to go to um, the, the point of the half mark of the circle. The point of the half mark of the circle. Let me show you. The point of the half mark of the circle is that um, we do extended addition of zero with five, or zero with um, any side that five is synergizing with. You know what I'm saying? So we say, okay. We say, um, what's two times five? You got two is the synergy, half of two is five, I mean, half of two is one, and we just um, extended, extended the addition to the one, which is 10. That's the answer. You know what I'm saying? What if we do, um, for instance, um, like I, I did a, um, 
36 times 5. 36 is the synergy. What's half of 36? You got, the, you got the 2 there with the 16 is 20. Ooh. You got the 2 there. 12 and a half. It's 1 8. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then we extend it just like the rule that we, that we had. We do the extension and addition from 0. You just add the 0 here and you got the answer. That's how we do extend. You, you, you see how the extended addition play a role in it? Or we say, put it out five times on, um, let me see, 42. Half of 42 is what? Two, and you got the one. And what we do? We just add the zero, right? It's 210. That's all we do. And that's very important. It's very important right there. So, the reason I say it's very, very important because when we do the six times table, it's actually an incorporation of five plus one ahead of it. You know what I'm saying? So when we do six, for instance, if we say six, let's go back to um, the first example, two times six, you take the two, half of two is one, you use the extended addition because five is a component of six. Five plus one equals six, so one component is one and one component is five. You know what I'm saying? So we, 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 we use this in what part of the process is um, the Senate addition of zero. Once we do that, all we're doing is just adding two to it and you get 12. That's it. That's why it's very important to learn five before that because five came before all the other higher numbers like six, seven, eight, and nine. Prior to five, we didn't really have to mess with it. For instance, let me show you. Um, let me show you some, some, some uh, mm -hmm. like two times four. I'm gonna just make it real simple. When we work with numbers before, prior to five, we are not working with size. We are only working with synergies and the manipulation of synergies. You know what I'm saying? And four represent doubling the double. So we say four times two, all we're doing is doubling it twice. You know what I mean? So that's four and then it's eight. That's all, you, that's all it is. Four is a component of two. So it's like you just doubling the double. That's what four is. It's just two. You just doubling it twice. And when, when you want to say, what about three times, two times three? You take the synergy. You double it once because two is a component of three plus one. Those two is, is, is different components. So that means we double it and we do what? We add one. That's what the component and two mean. It's just like when we when we did six, we just add one. And we bring it up, you know what I'm saying? But over here, we double it up, which is four, and we add the two, which is six. That's all it is. So we say 24 times three. We double that up, 48, and, and just add it. That's 12, add the one right there, 5, 6, 7, 72. It's all about proportion. It ain't about like, you know what I'm saying, 24 plus 24 plus 24. That's redundancy. It's all about proportion. All right. Um, so after 5, we're dealing with synergy. Before 5, the synergy was like this. You know what I mean? You might say two times four, two times three, two times two, two times one. We're not dealing with the synergy yet until we went to five. Five is dealing with the, um, not the synergy, but five is dealing with the size. That's the introduction of the size, which is the other part of the chemical formula, which is half the cycle. Speaking of five, you know, black supreme mathematics, that's what it is. I'm going to show you the inverse um, reflection of 5 and 2. You got 5 and you got 2. Notice they look like inverse of each other. I'm going to show you the reason why. Five, one, two, three. 5 mark the half of the cycle. 2 on the other half marks the doubling of numbers. 
You know what I'm saying? We got six over, we got seven over here. One, two, six, one. We got five and six. Let me show you the inverse. For instance, let me show you 24 times five, 24 divided by five, 24 times two, and 24 divided by two. Remember, two is a component of five, and the other component of five is three, two. So when we, when, when we multiply, we take, remember what we did, we take half of that, that's one, two, and you know, we extend it. We did extended addition to it of zero. So we had the zero, that's the answer. Five, 24 divided by five, since it's the opposite, we not we, we don't have it. We don't hold it. We double it. So you got four, forty-eight. But instead of um, expanding it with zero, we condense. We do condensed addition. This is where condensed addition become practical. We add the zero in front, which can, which, which oh, well, not right here. We add the zero in the front, which condenses the number which pull, pulls the decimal place forward. The zero is pushing the number in back of the decimal place. That's, what, that's how the condensed addition works. And it works for um, division of five, that's the answer, 4.8. 24 divided by times two, all you're doing is double it. So it's 48. Notice it's like 48 over here. It's like the inverse opposite over here. When we divide this, 24 divided by 2 is 12. So it's the inverse of this. So 12, 120 is a type of 12, just like 4.8, or um, not 4.8, 48 is a type of 4.8. Not, not 4.8, but um, yeah, 4.8, shit. That is a type of 48. <laughs> That's what I think. <coughs> so you see the inverses. First we compress it, in, in five we compress the zero, but we doubled it. Over here, we expanded the zero when we hold it. So we like an inverse mirror of each other. I mean, that's why five and, and two look similar, going back to that, because the calibration. I mean, that's why they both look very similar. <laughs> like inverse mirrors of each other, you know what I mean? I actually got a video where I'll be flipping the five mm -hmm. and, look, and the two look like the five and the five look like the two. But this is the substance of why they, why two 